Yo, what's good guys? I go by the name Church. Church the producer. So um, I'm here to show you guys the beat breakdown of Organigwe by Zlatan Ibile featuring Odumodu Black and Jeric, produced by me. <laughs> So um, we made a song sometime last year, um, 2022. I remember I was at home one day, Zatan called me to pull up to the studio that is having a session with Udumu the Black. Then I was ready for it. Funny enough, I actually thought I was going to make something like, you know, the regular Udumu the thing now, the hip hop steez. Um, when I got there, we were like, we should do something out of the box. Uh, he said he wanted this um, Ogeni sound. Ah, I'm not trust me now, you know, I'm from the East too. So, I could relate to, with the whole sound and stuff. So um, then I started making the beats. I started making the beats. I started from like the percussions I was going. Then I think that same day, um, Zlatan and Odumodu had them. Um, okay, I think Odumodu had a session with Zlatan. Like he wanted to feature Zlatan in um, Picanto. So after the whole recording session of Picanto, we. Um, okay, Zlatan played the beat for him. He was like, whoosh! Like, he felt it. I wasn't fun. I, I actually thought he was not going to like feel it because you now it's like everyday thing. So, to my greatest surprise, when I, when, I, when I was playing the beat, I was still making the beat because I did like post production. I was surprised that he started with the everybody follow, you know. Like, he started with that particular vibe. Like, everybody follow, you know, go. I will be put out for my body, I don't blow. Then I say, you don't show. I was like, okay, okay, this is going. The next thing, ah, um, bars started flying. Everybody, ah, um, it was just um, me, Zlatan, Odumodu in the studio with like some of Odumodu's guys. You know, he's always, anytime he moves, he moves with like crowd and stuff. So the studio was choked and everything was going nice. Then we made the record. Like, I was amazed with the whole sound and stuff then i started working on the beats the, the after i was like i told him that i'm more like we're gonna have like jerick on the song i was like uh sure now you know jerick is from the east too it's from my place so we made them um, okay jerry came to the studio we started recording his verse <laughs> so it got to the point where jerick was taking his verse like everything was going so smoothly we even had to use like bottles. There was a, there was a part in the song where he, where he was like, Boys, oh yeah, oh yeah, um, we, we used bottles. Quing, quing, quing. So, after that, we knew we had like banger, a very big banger in our hand. So, yeah, there was even a part where like we had to call like proper organic people because I finished making the beats. We needed like extra sauce. So, I contacted some guys. I think they are from the East too. I invited them to Lagos, paid for their whole like stuff. Then they played like the Ugeni, they added like sauce, the um, shakers and other stuff. We added like Ugeni stuff to the record to make it like proper ebotic. So they even came with a masquerade. We have to just be in the whole mood. Like, bro, like it's one of the songs I've actually enjoyed producing because it was like the steps were like proper, proper, proper. So I'll show you guys how I made the beats from the start to the end. So down to the big breakdown, guys. I started this beat from percussions. I started, I started playing the percussions first because I like starting my beats from percussions. So I started from this percussion, this seduce conga. Then I had this shaker, it's like a guinea shaker. Okay. Then. This is the kick, this is what the, the kick sounds like. Mm. You understand? Gives it that, you know that a boutique. Okay, then I had extra um extra percussions. You know that okay. Then the Ogini guys played this. Give a, you know that pot now, that organic okay, pot. Yeah. So I added this transition. Yeah. So 
I always add, add transitions in my beats. Okay, then down to okay, extra percussions again. Yeah. Okay. Then I had this um, I had this bass, this bass um, you know this slow. Okay, then the buzz sounds like this. This is the buzz, like it to it. Very very simple it to it. It's no, it's not so complicated. Uh, but it's, you know it follows the bounce of the, the groove, the groove of the song. So then I add extra some more sharp percussions again. And be like. I had this um, percussion. I had this. This one. I chopped it off from somewhere. Then the kick. Then the melody. I got this melody from um, this from Splice. It's very unique. Just like this. Very, very straightforward. Mm, so the, the this melody and the the eight it goes like so it's following the bounce. Plus the shaker. Okay. Then um for the verse, I I use them. You know this drill, eight to eight. That's what I that's what I use for the verse. So it goes like this. Let me let me solo it. Yeah, for the verse. Okay, so for the um, for Jerry's parts, I I just I did the same thing, just copied the first verse, same thing as the second verse. Okay, then for the for the outro of the song, I you know if if you listen to the song. There is one um one f um flutes you know this ebotic um Nigerian movie flutes now right? like so sounding like totally off from the whole song so what I did was that I just um I just removed the melodies from where the the flutes was supposed to come in so it's just percussions on the flute so the melodies will clash it goes like this. So I have one of the um, Ogene guys play it. So with the extra stuff. The kick. You know, it's giving this um, when you are driving the bends now, you know, when you are driving very fast. Oh, like. Okay. This is what I call bends music. <laughs> so, that's basically what I did for this production. It's not like so complicated. So, I actually arranged this song in like, I think, almost like a month or so. So we had this, then the Modu's vocals, Zlatan's vocals, Jerry's vocals. Let me, let me highlight this. 
It's very, very simple. And the legendary Chesu producer. <laughs> Everybody follow, you know, go. I will be put out for my body, I don't blow. Then I say, you do move, don't show. Sanku broke one baby, they don't show. They don't bro, come off for bando. Ogani, when we laugh, they go give way. They don't bro, come off for bando. What's the man go do without a gun shit? You know easy to get from like give it a daily day. You know go one no way to stop the time with my gun no give me. Twenty k, thirty k, you know that you can't reward me. Every day shine like a lot, you will be like candlelight. Then Jerry's verse we added no bottles. Like there's this can 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 this bottle sound. So Jerry actually played that. Everybody follow, you know, go. I won't be put out for my body, I don't blow, no go. Then I say, you do move, you don't show. Baby, baby, Sanku block one, baby, two, you don't do. Nobody shine, you don't blow. Come on for bando. Organi go, when we laugh, then go give way. You don't blow. Come on for bando. Organi go, when we laugh, then go give way. So, thank you guys for watching. This is basically everything I did for this song. I appreciate Subscribe to my YouTube. God bless. What's the man gonna do without that gun You know, easy to get for like give me that daily cake. You know, go on, no way to stop. Better, we might not give it. 20k, 30k. You know, did you carry what?